Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Chrissy. Guys, I am back again to do what I do best and that is to talk a lot. <laughs> um, if you guys can't tell by uh, the title of this whole video or the thumbnail, um, I am here to give you guys my little story time once again on my call with Sunyan or Woods. Um, and also, you guys might be wondering why I am completely blue and orange today, and that is because today is the Moods first anniversary, and I'm celebrating my my baby Bean and this beautiful um, family. So that is why I am uh, orange and blue. And also because I just figured today would be like the best day to film this because it's the Moods birthday. So I'm like, this is the perfect day. Um, I know it's late because uh, the call event was a few weeks ago, but anyways, uh, yes, here we go. I'm gonna be giving you guys all the tea. So before I get into this fan call story, for those of you who might be new or who, um, don't know. I got a chance to speak to Sanyan uh, back in November when he was promoting um, Bump Bump and for his Whoops album. And um, that was, it was rough. <laughs> uh, I have the video up on my channel if you guys want to go check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, recap for you quickly. Sanyan, uh, he, he noticed me. Like, he knew who I was. Um, first time ever talking to him because he had seen my YouTube channel videos. And I nearly had a freaking heart attack. Um, but that's, that's what happened over there. Uh, a bunch of cute stuff. So you guys can go watch that if you are interested. Um, but now moving on to this current fan call event. So basically, I I really wanted to try again, obviously, to talk to him again. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, because you guys, Sanyan, I should, I'm going to call him Sanyan. I know everyone like knows him by Woods as like his stage name, but I call him Sanyan. So um, I know that he got, like he is his freaking the popularity this man is collecting. Like, I'm so proud of him and so happy for him. So after Bump Bump, like, people really started... I noticed after, like, the Love Me Harder era, people were like, oh, oh, damn, like, Woods, like, okay. And then after Bump Bump, that's really what, like, set it off. However, when Feel Like dropped, oh my god, the amount of moods that this man collected, I was like, there's no shot in hell that I'm gonna get into this particular call event again. And obviously, I always try for the My Music Taste ones because um, I just feel like they're easier to get into or ha you have a better chance at getting into. And also, I had won my previous call from a My Music Taste um, call event. So I was like, I'm gonna try again. Uh, I don't, I was so dead set. Like I was like, I'm not going to get in. I knew for a fact I was not going to get in, but I had like a solid, like, I don't know, maybe like 60% chance. So like in my head. So I ended up, you know, doing my whole group order thing, which I did for the original bump bump call. And I just was like hoping for the best, but I really, guys, I was genuinely like, I don't think I'm gonna get in this time because there's so many new moods that I was like, mm -mm, no. So anyways, um, the day comes around and I find out that I actually got in again. <laughs> I was having a heart attack heart attack because here's the thing about Sayan is that he is so intimidating to me. Um, he's the most, I, I, I see that he in my mind is the most intimidating, non-intimidating human ever because from his presence and everything, like he's just, his presence is just very loud. Like in terms of, oh man, he makes me nervous. But at the same time, he is so kind and so sweet and 
just very sincere and thoughtful so when you start talking to him you obviously feel a little bit more at ease and not as stressed and nervous um, because he has a very calming presence. Um, so I was starting to sweat a little bit. I got a little nervous. Definitely not as nervous as I was the first time because the first time it was like I've never even joined a call event before so I didn't even know how it worked. So I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but this time I was pretty chill. Uh, then you guys, this is where I was like, uh -huh. Okay, um, for those of you who have never joined a call event before or, or who have like won a call event, um, I know, I'm pretty sure it's probably with every company, but with my music taste, they email you um, with your, your order number, like the order that you go in at the time of the call event. So like what number person you are in line. And I remember specifically the first time I was number eight and that's my lucky number. So I was like number eight the first time. Um, and it was so nerve wracking because I didn't know, the calls are roughly like two to three minutes each. So I was trying to like guesstimate the time that I would go and I was like waiting and so nervous. <sighs> I get the freaking email. I get the freaking email with my order number. Guess what number I am everybody? I'm number one. Freaking number one, like my absolute stress level, y'all don't even know. Like, okay, here's the thing. In a way, I was kind of like dope, like love that for me because at least I can go first and know what time like exactly that I'll be going because the call started around like 1 a.m. my time. So I knew that because I was the first one, it would be around 1 a.m. rather than me trying to guess what time it would be at. However, um, that makes me nervous because you're literally the first person that these people see. Good morning! <laughs> So right off the bat, I was pretty nervous about that, um, but I was feeling good. I was feeling great. I'm like, this is, this is great. We are going to vibe and thrive. Like, you're not going to be nervous. You know what to expect. Like, this is your boo. Don't worry about it. Fine. To be honest, I was holding it together real well up until the day of the actual call because, <laughs> um, yeah, the day of is just not good for me. <laughs> I was nervous as shit. Um, but leading up to that, you guys, the first, so here's the thing. It's really hard for me to come up with questions to ask, like, your faves. It's really weird. Like, mm, for me in my head, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to ask because, you know, we've seen some call events before. We've seen some people do some uh, cringy shit and no, 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 baby, that's not for me. Um, I don't, I'm so cautious when it comes to like saying or asking questions that borderline like cringe. So um, I was kind of like mm, nervous this time because I had pretty much spewed everything I wanted to say to him. Um, the first time I had the call, which was basically like, you're my sunshine, I love you. Um, beautiful soul, beautiful human, talented, amazing, brilliant, Lady Gaga, meme like you know what I mean so I had already said all of that but for me and the way that I like to do things is that I don't I didn't know that I was gonna get a second chance to meet him again so I, I said all that and got it out and I was so happy but this time around I really didn't know what to say or what to ask so I was just like mm, okay maybe maybe I'll just kind of go along the lines of what I did the previous time as well so basically um, I, I came up with an idea and uh, my first idea obviously I wanted to thank him on his uh, comeback or not thank him well thank you for existing and for your comeback but I wanted to congratulate him um, on his success for the new album and for feel like because it's his best yet and I'm so proud of him but there was one thing I was like oh I really want to do this so the first call event on um, the whoops album I don't know if you guys can if you guys can see like the whoops album over here um it's it's kind of like a square and then the middle is punched out so it's like a frame almost and the first time that I got into the fan call event and he signed it he signed the inside of the um like the booklet so it's not really like on the front of the album so this time I really wanted to um have something to like display especially with like 
all of my, you know, woods <laughs> things. So I wanted to ask him um, if he could think of something that made him really happy and then draw it or write it down on the album, but not make it like he like without any pressure on him. Because I know in the past, like I've seen people ask him to draw him like tattoo designs and stuff. And I know he gets kind of stressed about it because he always thinks that He's like not a good jar. He doesn't want to like give anybody anything that's going to be permanent if it sucks and like whatever. So I didn't want to stress him out because I've seen how like stressed he gets about it. So I just wanted to tell him like, I want something to display. Like just I'm going to put it up and don't stress about it. Like it could be words or a picture, just anything. So basically that's what I did. Um, I, I, I was thinking of that and then also I wanted to tell him to come to Boston, <laughs> which is a piece of tea at the end of this video that you guys have to wait for because I just, I can't make this shit up, all right? I just, I can't make this shit up. So anyways, so day of the call event, night of the call event, we're just gonna fast forward. So um, I know if, if you guys aren't familiar with how call events work, um, I do explain a lot more about it in my previous call event video, so you guys can go watch that if you're interested. But basically because I was the first one um, this time around, uh, the staff usually kind of uses you as like the test <laughs> for all of the audio and stuff like that because they wanna make sure that the audio and everything is vibing. So, um, yeah, so I'm sitting here and the most stressful moment in life is when you get that cacao talk message where they have you like confirm your name and then like they tell you when you're about to be calls. So I was panicking. My stomach was like in knots, but I was, I was hyping myself up. I'm like, honey, you, you look good. You look, I was in the mirror. I'm like you look good, bitch. You know what to say. You got this shit memorized. Moral of the story is uh, my voice cracked a million times and I was so nervous, so it didn't really help that much. Um, anyways, so uh, they called me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like freaking triggered. Um, and originally the staff, they had the little paper like over the phone because they were testing out the audio and she had asked me if I could hear if like everything was working okay and I just kind of sat there like awkwardly and I was like mm-hmm <laughs> like yeah everything's working great yeah it was it was interesting um but then sweetie pie my little honey bunches of oats um she was like okay we're gonna start the call and I was like word let's get it and my baby boy and all of his beautiful glory appears. Yo, I just, I can't. I'm such a simp. I'm such a simp. We, we know. We've been known. Like, everyone knows. I am a Sanyan simp. <sighs> I just love him so much, okay? This video could turn into another hour-long video of me just telling you how much I love him, but for real, he's just, like, the best human ever. This boy looks so gorgeous. He looked a freaking, he looks so sleepy, though. Like, he looks so he looks soft. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been seeing some fan call events with him this past era where he was looking... <sighs> um, mm -hmm. all I'm saying is if I had to sit through two to three minutes of him looking the way that he was with some of the outfits he had on, I would probably hang up the call. Um, but he looks so soft. Um, he had on, like, a cute little Celine, like, bowling shirt, and he just... <laughs> so cute. I love him. So, uh, yeah, definitely a little bean, but I immediately just wanted to congratulate him once again. I was like, it's so nice to see you again. Um, congratulations on your album. And I compliment, <laughs> I ended up complimenting. I was like, you look really handsome today. And I really like your shirt. This boy, like, I swear to God, the confidence level sometimes. I can't tell. It's like a mixture of him being like shy and confident and it's the most adorable thing ever because he's like, mm, oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I complimented on his shirt. I told him he looked handsome and I kind of wanted to ask him. I was like, can I ask you a question? And I briefly was just like, you know, can you think of something that makes you really happy and can you write it down on the album and or draw it like write it down or draw it because I want to display it and or something along the lines of that and this boy like I swear to god he was like you know what I could literally just tell you now and I was like oh I'm like oh okay you're gonna tell me now and he was like 
I can tell you because it's moods. And he starts going on this tangent or rant about how moods are literally like his life and how he just always feels so much happier when he's like stressed or sad and we like lift him up. And I was sitting there like <laughs> trying really hard to not cry so I my voice ended up cracking at some point oh okay I'm not there yet so I he goes on his tangent and I was like I really some oh god what the frick did I say you guys will see it in the video but I said something along the lines of like uh you know I I really love that like I, I wanted to put the album up on display and have like a little piece of your happiness and I think that it's like sweet or I love the fact that it's moods for you um I hope that I, I'm really curious when I finally get the album, which it will be at like, I'll put me opening up the actual like signed album with like the Polaroid at the end of this video as well. Um, I'm waiting for it to come. It should be here like today or tomorrow. Uh, but I, I, I'm curious to see if he actually wrote it down on the front of the album. So, uh, we'll get to that. Uh, but anyways, so he goes on his little tangent and then after I said that I really wanted it to put up on display, he goes, <laughs> He goes, oh yeah, and like you also have like your YouTube channel. And I was like, bitch. Windows Explorer shut down. I made a bet with one of my friends that he would not remember me. Um, because here's the thing, you guys. I was not, not expecting him to recognize me the first time I met him at all because I'm not sitting here like I I only have like I'm a k-pop reaction channel I'm not a freaking celebrity like we don't do that here and I'm I do not expect people to know who I am and I was so taken off guard with that shit and then this time around I was like there's my friends kept telling me they're like oh he's gonna remember who you are of course he's gonna remember you and I'm like no he's not gonna remember me Think about how many people this man sees a day. Think about how many people he talks to a day. I was like, I do not think he's gonna remember me at all. And I haven't had a bet going <laughs> with my friend um, because she was like, no, he's gonna remember who you are. I'm like, no, he's not. And then he remembered who I was. So I was really taken off, like, off guard because once again, I had, I, like, I'm not being a pick me. Like, we don't do pick me behavior over here. And I was dead convinced. I'm like, there's no shot in hell that this man is going to remember who I am, especially where he talks to like 30 to 40 fans a freaking day. Like the amount of people he talks to a day, like this is not going to happen. And that's one thing I really love about Sanyan too, is that he's very like sincere and thoughtful and he pays attention really well to just like moods in general. So he really does like have a good memory and like remembers you if you talk to him or just like little details about certain things. He's like the best boy ever. So I was not expecting him to say that to me and my freaking voice cracked. <laughs> I was like, oh shit i didn't say that but in my head i was like oh shit and i was like yes i do and he was like it's very good it's very good i'm like bitch you subscribed did you subscribe you secretly subscribe he's not i wish he was but it'd be cool um but anyways uh so i was like automatically freaking out about that <clears throat> and then because he said that i was i felt a little more like at ease like i said he has a presence about him where I just feel so calm when I start talking to him. However, I was really thrown off with that. So I started getting nervous again and like almost forgot what I was going to say. And then once again, I just wanted to tell him, I was like, well, you know that um, the last time I told you, like, you are my sunshine. I always have to tell him he's my sunshine because he is and I love him. So I told him that again and he got so like, oh, his little faces. Oh, this is so cute. He gets really like shy and blushy and he like smiles really big and it's just like the most precious thing ever um so I told him like you know you're my sunshine and oh god I forget what I said after that but it was oh I told him that I really just wanted to thank him for kind of making me like getting me through the COVID situation because as you guys know I think the COVID situation has been really hard on everybody um and it's been really hard on me mentally so I've just kind of um I fell into like a really bad depression at the beginning towards the end of like last year 
and his music and just him in general and then like getting to talk to him back in November he really just like makes me so happy like his music is everything to me it puts me in the absolute best mood ever and we all know if you guys are fans of him that he is so entertaining and it's like never a dull moment and he literally just makes me smile 24 7 so um I had to thank him for that and guys this is where it gets saucy, okay? This is the point in the story where we're getting saucy. Everyone stay stay put because this is <laughs> this is saucy. So, I said to him, I was like, I would really appreciate um maybe like after the COVID situation is over, I would really love to see you perform or I said like I I would love to see you come to Boston because Boston I'd love to see you come to Boston, keyword, um, because I'd really love to see you perform um, or just I'd love to see you here. And he was about to freaking say something and the staff, it was like time was over so the staff kind of cut him off and I don't, oh, I don't know what he was going to say and it like to this day it haunts me because I want, I wanted to know. But this is where the story gets saucy, okay? Y'all know that when, <laughs> okay, y'all know, <laughs> I can't even talk about this. Y'all know when Sanyan goes, like when he has a call event, like right after he does a live, normally he'll have like a, a he'll meet his, he'll meet moods or he'll meet his fans. Um, and then he'll do like a, I don't know, a V live or like Instagram live or something. And, um, so before like a couple hours after my call, he changed his clothes. He was originally in like the Celine bowling shirt with like his little dad jeans looking all cute and shit. And then I woke up and I was looking at the pictures from the day because of course it was like 1am for me. So um, I went to sleep right after and I look at the pictures and it didn't register in my mind. And I was like, the ones he posted on Instagram, which I'm going to put up in a second. And I was like, wait a second. I'm like, he looks so good. And then I just kind of like went about my day. Then my friends were blowing up my damn group chat and they're like, um, hello? Like, did you not see, did you not see the pictures? And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Guys, disclaimer here. Once again, I'm not being a pick me, okay? I'm just, it, it makes me think. It's like stuff that makes you think, you know? Like coincidental shit. That's just like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not sitting here being like Delulu, okay? I'm just, I'm giving you guys just a simple, just a fun little story, okay? So I'm, I'm looking through the pictures and I'm like, wait a second, this man was wearing a full blown Boston cap, like a Boston hat in his pictures. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> all the time, <laughs> what the hell? And then I go and I go on Twitter and I see all of the like VLive videos, or I think it was like an Instagram live or something he did. I, I don't remember. Um, I wasn't awake for it, which I'm really sad about, but he had on a Boston cap. So I was like, I started getting so emotional, not because I'm sitting here like, oh my God, for me, do you know what I mean? It's more of like, I don't know. I told him, like I was first in the call, I told him I really wanted him to come to Boston um, and perform and he didn't get to say what he wanted. And then I wake up the next morning and he's wearing a Boston cap. Like, can we just take a moment? This man has so many hats. He's got so many hats, okay? So many. And he chose the Boston cap of all things to ruin my day. Like, for what reason? I just... This is things that make me go, huh? It makes me wonder. So for the rest of just eternity, um, my life is going to be full of questions. And uh, I can't sleep well at night because of it. Uh, so that's the tea on that. So that's basically that. So in conclusion, Sunyan remembered me from the last call event. Um, he remembered me because I have my channel, like, he remembers my channel. And then I woke up hours after telling him to come to Boston and him not being able to finish his sentence to him wearing a Boston cap that he changed into. So literally my life is a joke and I don't know how to process the information. Um, I stay crying over this man 24 seven. You ever just love someone so much? Me, me, I love him so much. Like I love him so much. He's 
the best human man ever could never no one can ever take his spot and that's where I'm at with him um but besides that uh, I really I really enjoyed this particular call I feel like he was a lot more chill this time um I don't know if it's because he was like sleepy or if it was like you know um I don't know I don't know if he was tired or whatever but he was like so soft this this time compared to the first time I met him um and I was just ah uh, god it was it was so great it's so good getting to talk to him it's so nice to talk to someone that really just means a lot to you is where I'm going with this because I mean I don't know he really he really helped me so much throughout the past year and a half and just always he's always the one that like his music, you know, music is healing, right? And his music just genuinely heals me. Like, it heals my soul. His personality heals my soul. And I just appreciate him so much as a person. So I always want to give, um, or when I have the opportunity, I want to let him know that even if my call events aren't, like, filled with, like, questions and stuff, I feel like, for me, the way that I like to go about it is always just constantly tell him how much he means to me which I know he hears it a lot like that's pretty much the majority of like what every single fan says <laughs> but um at the end of the day that's it's true like he means a lot to us and means a lot to me and I'm gonna let him know that as much as I can if I'm ever allowed uh endless opportunity so that was kind of like a short little recap of uh the call not everything to a T but I will be posting the video like right now so um y'all can watch it and then I'll be back so let's go Hi, Sonia. Hi. It's nice to see you again. I missed you. Happy too. How have you been? Uh, very good. Good. Um, you look so handsome right. today. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, Sonia, I wanted to congratulate you on another successful comeback because I'm I'm really proud of you and I really love your new album. I think it's honestly one of your best so far. You're welcome. Um, also, is it okay if I ask you a question? Uh-huh. Okay. So I was wondering, um, if you can, can you think of something that makes you, like, really happy? And then can you write it on the front of the album? Okay. Actually, I can tell to you right now. You're going to You're gonna tell me? Because always I, I think the answer is booze, I think. Oh, <laughs> I love that. And when I get rest, I just read you guys' like letter. So I, when I read this, you guys' letter, it's very happy to me. Oh, I really, I really wanted, um, I really like that because I really wanted to put it up like and display it with my other album to have like a little piece of your happiness as well. So I really like that you chose like moods as your happiness. Also, you are, like, YouTube channel, too. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> you remembered? Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you again for remembering. <laughs> no, it's very good, very good. Um, also, I, I know I've told you, I told you the last time that you're my sunshine and that <sighs> you're really special to me. <laughs> um, but I really Hi. just wanted to thank you for kind of... Um, being that like light for me especially with the past year with covid and everything you you're so entertaining and you're so funny and you just put a smile on my face always and i really hope that after like the whole covid situation maybe you can come to boston and you can perform here because i'd really love to see you yeah oh i love you sonya and i'll see you Mwah. So yes, everybody, that was the, uh, that was the call with me and Sanyan. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you can see I was really nervous this time around. My voice was cracking and stuff, but anyway, he's the sweetest bean. Um, also, um, I'm still waiting on my album to come, like the signed one and like the Polaroid, and I'm so excited to see the Polaroid. I'm so excited, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it here, like on this video. So, um, it might be like a different day. I'm just gonna have to like edit it all together, but when I get it, I will come right back and I will show you guys. So, um, please hold.
I literally just finished like editing together um, most of the footage that I just showed you like from the actual call event and as I was doing that in the distance I heard a truck backing down my driveway and it was DHL with my signed album and I'm really excited to see it and open it so I'm gonna just open it for you guys it's not gonna be like uh, how I usually do my unboxings I'm just gonna kind of like show you guys or like react to it kind of um I'm so excited I can't wait I'm so nervous to see this Polaroid picture that's gonna make me um that's gonna get my video taken down uh but I'm so excited to see this Polaroid and I'm also I'm I'm okay I know I said like how I, I told you guys earlier that I really um I wanted him to write down something like on the album and I still don't know if he did because he said that he was gonna tell me and he told me during the call so I'm curious to see like what he wrote on here so ah, we're gonna open it I'm so I'm so excited that this came like just in time for moods day too like perfect timing and yeah but oh my god the amount the amount of albums that whew, I am like a straight woods shipping facility at this point so oh my god there's oh, these not these I hate these so much please ah they're oh my god they're everywhere I need to breathe okay my baby boy okay 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 I I see it I see I see stop it not the Polaroid bitches oh my god so cute when you guys see this freaking Polaroid photo you're gonna lose it like actually lose it because he looks so cute. I have to focus this camera. Okay. Oh my god. Well, first of all, okay. Woo! The freaking photo cards are flying out. Hold on. Ah! Okay, yeah, so definitely what I thought. I knew he, so he ended up signing it. Like, oh! And then, like, to Chrissy. So cute! <laughs> freaking photo cards are like, hello! Wait, what photo cards came in this album? I'm just curious. Oh, hell yeah. This one was like impossible for me to get the last time. Taste. Like actual taste. This is a good one, damn. Okay, this freaking part, are y'all ready for this freaking part? <laughs> I can't do this, I can't do this. Beauty guru. I, I can't handle it. First of all, it's the freaking <laughs> for me. Um, <laughs> I'm like losing my absolute mind over this freaking Polaroid. I'm sorry. I just like. I just. I just think that and you know what else I'm actually really really happy about too is that for some reason because I keep seeing like everybody's albums that they keep getting signed are like the black version and originally <laughs> I was like um, I had like the black album displayed and I was just automatically assuming that it would be black but the because I I'm sure you guys could see from like the the video like earlier in the video that I have like my new background with my shelving and the red space is not filled like there's nothing there there's just I put like a perfume bottle because I don't really have many red albums so the fact that I can display this one now like in the red instead of the black I'm like he did the he did the Lord's work for on this one, but I just can't get over it. And for some reason, I don't know why, it's like you just love your name so much more when he writes it because it's so cute. I'm like, okay, cutie with the little heart. But guys, I really can't get over this freaking Polaroid. Like he looks so damn soft and and hot. He looks so hot. It's that freaking Celine shirt. I can't. 
Jesus. Ah! Anyways, this is a this is a freaking trip. He really gives me heartburn, I swear to God. Anyways, you guys, I just wanted to um, open that quickly for y'all, just so I could show you. I was mostly, like, really excited about the Polaroid, and also, like, I kind of had a feeling, because uh, at, at first, like I said, my question and, like, what I wanted him to do was draw something, like, on the front of the album, um, but... Of course, I know that, like, kind of gives him stress, and he kind of went on his little tangent about moods and how he wanted to, like, talk about it, so I kind of figured that he wouldn't write or draw anything on the front, um, anyways, so it's not really, like, a problem. I don't really care. I just am so happy that I finally got this in time, and also that I have this Polaroid, because now I can switch it out. I've been using the one that I got from the Whoops, um, era on the back of my phone, and that one was so soft and cute, but I'm ready for a change here. This one is every Everything. Um, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of messy, <sighs> um, but I like sharing this stuff with you. I know you guys, or some of you guys, like to kind of see my experiences, and uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching my call with my favorite boy. Um, I hope in the future, maybe if I'm lucky, um, if I'm blessed, if I get the opportunity to, I would love to continue to try. For another call event with him um i know that he's been working on some music hopefully we get like a full album um which would be so cool and uh, the thing is, is i already have like in my head plans like something else that i want to say or do for him if i ever get the chance to talk to him again um but i just want to once again thank you all for your support and thank you all for like your kind words especially on twitter you guys are seriously the sweetest when it comes to my love for sengyeon because i i really like to just play around and I know that um, I'm a little extra, but it's just it's just all fun, and you guys know how much I love him, so I appreciate your support and always matching my energy in that sense. Um, and also, I just want to thank, once again, everybody who joined my group order, because if you guys did not, I would not have gotten this opportunity. You guys helped me so, so much, and I love y'all so much for... Um, for for joining and for helping me out and um because of that i got to talk to my boy again so thank you guys once again uh, i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the beautiful wide world um please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't checked out my previous fan call uh video with sanyeon please do that over on my channel and i will see you guys next time i love y'all bye Mwah!